We're going to be visiting different parks. If you could bring something from the U.S. or any country in the world to Argentina, what would you bring? The economy. The, the economy. <laughs> the police. <laughs> I love what? Turkey. Oh my God. There's not a lot of rice around here. Well, that, that's true. I'd bring a little bag of rice in my pocket. I've been living in Argentina for the past almost seven years. A lot of my friends and I speak English, even when we are out on the street. And when I had just gotten there, it would happen that we'd be walking down the street, especially later at night, we'd be walking down the street and we'd just be speaking in English to each other. And it happened more than once that a person would come up to us and start talking to us and answering back to us in English as well, completely unprompted. And they would start like asking about our lives and where we were from and what we were doing in Argentina. And everybody would have like the best attitude possible and everyone just wanted to make conversation with you. I guess that this is now after having been there for seven years. It's funny to me and I see it contrast a lot with the reality of different situations in the country. Like it's been my experience that the way that people in Argentina feel about the language, it's either they love it or they absolutely hate it. And there's hardly ever any in between. And, and it doesn't have to do with, are you able to speak English or not for you to hate it? How or where did you learn English? Um, in the Liceo Cultural Britannico. In the school, in the secondary school, and the travel. And travel. So in okay, travels. what about you? More in travel. And the university. <laughs> Watching videos, listen to music. Really? Uh, the basic English and of school, and um, after that, it's like learning by yourself. Myself. Yourself. TV, music, things yeah. like that. Okay. In the school and self learner. Okay. School, school. We had at our school English a lot. But I went to work to New York and Miami. Me from school. From school. Um, from school and then I practice traveling and making friends around the world. Do you like the language? Uh, yeah, I really like it. Yes. Yes. Of yes. Course. I, yes. Why? Would like. <laughs> it's good for the life to learn English. For traveling. For travel and uh, connecting with people. Connect talk yes. with people. For example. For example, <laughs> example yes. right now. I've spoken to people who are very good at the language, who have a good attitude for the language, or who have a, a good development in the language, and they absolutely hate it. And the reason that they hate it is because of several different things, I guess, like they have their idea with England and, and the whole thing with the Falklands or Las Malvinas or things like that. I mean, the usual sentiment is like, either you like the language, you really like it because of traveling or whatever, or you really hate it. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's really funny to me how the experience of being in Argentina while also being an English speaker could be so different coming in the same, like being in the same country. Do you think that tourists and foreigners need to speak Spanish when they come to Argentina or can they speak English? Just English? I think that they have to learn Spanish. Yeah? Really. Yeah. No. No. Maybe you can connect it with the people in another, another way, way, another situation, yeah. another, with another things. I think we have a basic yeah. level of English, basic, yeah, <laughs> a little. It's kind of difficult for people to communicate if you, they don't know anything about Spanish right here. You will not find easily people who can speak English, like, fluidly. Okay. So it's kind of difficult. Yeah. So they need to know even if just a little Spanish? Yes. The tourists can come and visit without Spanish. Yeah, they need to. They need Spanish? Some people is prepared here for people of other countries, but not so much, like, no. If you go to other places than uh, the city of Buenos Aires, you're not, going, <laughs> you're not going to get well. No, okay. But here, yeah, you can speak Maybe. many languages, but then okay. in pro uh, the province, you, you won't get <laughs> that much for. It is pretty easy to find like common tongue with uh, young Argentinians but if you meet a uh, an older person they would not know English uh, in most cases so it depends on who you speak to. I think that you do need Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Just, Why? Uh, yeah. Like, I, I, yeah just like you know if you're, you're gonna yeah out of respect if you're gonna travel and to any other country, you'd, you want to learn at least the basics, yeah. you know, yeah. to get around or just to maybe just carry like a small conversation, you know, and make 
I mean, that's yeah. kind of why we travel, right? To make friends along the way, and even if it's just for a little while. Something that I found really curious looking back on these interviews is that most of the people who said you have to learn at least a little bit of the language were mostly the foreigners, like the American couple and the Russian couple that I met were the ones who primarily said, yes, you should at least try to learn the basics of Spanish because it's nice because you're coming to a country where most of like the language is Spanish and people will try to communicate with you or will want to communicate with you and the best way for you to do that is if there is some common ground and foreigners will encourage you to learn the language and like come to a country and learn the language. Meanwhile, you saw or you see the Argentines saying, yes, I, if you're coming to Buenos Aires specifically, I don't believe that you need to learn a lot of Spanish. You will at least be able to get by if you know like the very basics because everybody else in the city will know the basics of English. And I just think that that's a very interesting contrast. Like foreigners will tell you, learn the language in the country. Locals will tell you, you'll be able to get by with a little bit of like basic Spanish and other English because the people here in the country will learn how to communicate with English in English with you, even if it's just the basics. Also, another thing that I do want to note, and I think that it was mentioned by somebody else during the interviews or in the videos, is that English will be somewhat common and easy to find and easy to get by in Buenos Aires. I don't believe that it will be the same case if you go to other provinces in the country, especially if you go to Bariloche because Bariloche is a very touristic city and it's a very popular destination for locals and it's even more so for non-locals. So you will see a lot of the people there who work in tourism who are able to speak English, but those are like the outliers. I don't believe that that is the majority of the people in the country. And having been an English teacher both in Venezuela and in in Argentina, I do feel like there is a phenomenon that is very common all throughout the world, and that is the fact that being able to learn another language even with how accessible it's become with the internet is also very heavily tied to your spending power. How much disposable income do you have to invest in language classes or in language lessons? The more that you go away from the richer parts of the city or the country, the less common it will be for you to see people who speak English. What do you think it's the best neighborhood to live in here in Buenos Aires? I like personally uh, Puerto Madero. I like Palermo. 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 Palermo is great. Or Recoleta. Recoleta. Sure. Belgrano. I like San, San Telmo. Yeah. and this place. And Palermo. Yeah. Palermo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that being able to communicate with the people from that country also takes me to the question, is Argentina actually welcoming for people or for foreigners who come to the country either to visit or to live here? And as a person who has been living there for over seven years, my immediate answer would be yes, but I wanted to hear a little bit of what other people might think or what others' opinions might be. Do you think that Argentina is a good country for immigrants or foreigners, like tourists or, or not? What's your opinion? No, my opinion is it's like it is, yes. It is a good country. We don't have a, believe it or not, a, there is not like a racist country. We don't really discriminate that uh, the people that can, went, went to, uh, want to come here to, to spend some holidays or, or even stay. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty open, uh, open arms country in that aspect. No. No. Okay. I don't think so. That's basically yeah. it. It depends on the immigrant. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a good. It's a good place to migrate. Yeah. To immigrate. Okay. Yeah. Super. Uh, the Argentine people um, are very welcome with the tourists. Yes, because no, no, a no. lot of people came come here uh, for the university for study. Yes, because they are free. In medicine, a lot of people. A lot of people come to study medicine. Yeah. Argentina is a country made and for built. Thank you. Uh, for immigrants, <laughs> you should come. Yeah, yeah, they are. To they totally are. So our experience and uh, other people's experience is mostly uh, about very like hospital. The, the great level of hospitality of Argentines. I had no idea coming here, but I feel very welcomed yeah. by everyone that I've yeah. spoken with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes, I think. And um, yes, yes, yes. Situation of discrimination are uh, there. Okay. There, are, there is discrimination in the country. It's not very strong, but 
like in 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 other in other cities of the world the discrimination is it's normal now there is something that i do want to address and that is that many people on the internet tend to have the opinion that argentines are arrogant that they believe that they are the best that they probably look down on other people and i that that has not been my experience or at least not seriously my experience granted i am venezuelan so argentine's point of view or, or opinion of venezuelans is generally very positive so ever since i got there the first week that i got there i got nothing but good wishes and that may be different for people from other countries but generally speaking speaking, I do feel like the community or the culture or the people in the country are very laid back and welcoming. And what some people might seem as arrogance, I just feel like is confidence in who they are. They understand their flaws better than anybody else. And they can recognize and criticize themselves more harshly than anyone else ever could. But at the same time, they will not accept anybody talking crap about them. That is the thing. They know their flaws, they are aware of them, but they are also very comfortable in their own skin and they will not allow anybody to try to make them feel lesser than or unworthy or any other thing like that. I just feel that confidence and they feel very at ease with themselves and, and with everybody around them. One of the things that you would have to get used to if you come to Argentina is the fact that everybody says hi to you with a kiss on the cheek. There is a lot of physical touch. Even if they don't know you, they're gonna say hi to you. They're gonna introduce themselves to you with a, a kiss on the cheek and a hug. And that familiarity that they feel with you or that they show you even when they don't know you can come across as a little bit overbearing. And because they are so comfortable in their own skin and in that familiarity that they have and in their sense of humor and everything, that may come across as arrogance. And then they may be actually arrogant because they believe that that's a good part of their culture and they want to share it with everybody and they will not allow criticisms for that because they don't see it as something negative. They will criticize the negative things about their own culture, but they will not allow other people to criticize what they see as positive. So I feel like that's a very interesting thing, I guess. If you could bring something from the US or any country in the world to Argentina, what would you bring? The economy. <laughs> more stability, yes. maybe. More stability. You have the, more. The economy. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Their security. Their security. Okay. Of course, the police. <laughs> Beef turkey. Beef What? Beef turkey. Maple syrup. I would bring maple syrup. If we had like official Apple stores, IKEAs, and like all the other like businesses that we're used to internationally, that would be just perfect. There's not a lot of rice around here. Well, that, that's true. They don't, Argentines yeah. don't eat a lot of <laughs> they rice. They don't eat a lot no. of rice. <laughs> and so I've been going to all these restaurants and seeing all these beautiful meats, and I'm thinking, where's the, where's the rice? I need no, rice and beans. See, si. yeah, yeah, pasta yeah. or papas. <laughs> Yeah. So I would I'd bring a little bag of rice in my pocket. <laughs> the next time I come back, I just... <laughs> okay. What advice would you give Americans or foreigners who are visiting Argentina for the first time? The country is so beautiful. Yeah, it's so, so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Got too many things to do. People got still in the streets and everywhere. So, so be careful, careful on the street. Yeah, because you see people from outside with the cell phones like that to take the subway and no. That situation is too obviously. So don't be an obvious tourist. And don't take your cell phone uh, out places. Don't leave it in the table, okay. on the table and like forget about it. Okay, I think that is all that I am going to do or say for this video. I hope that you enjoyed these interviews. It was definitely an exercise in helping me overcome my own anxiety talking to strangers. I am nervous. Okay, I am very, very exposed. I am very nervous. <laughs> Uh, and I know, granted, you're not gonna be talking to strangers on the street every day or all the time or anything like that, but I do feel like my social skills were a little bit stunted by the pandemic, and this has been a very good exercise in trying to help me recover from that. 
One thing that I want to do, I want to take this video and I want to take the opportunity to thank one of my viewers who has shown me support more than one time. I want to thank Glenn because he donated to my channel through my coffee page. And this is not something that I advertise a lot or that I promote a lot because I don't have anything that I am promoting in coffee. I haven't made the time to actually make content for coffee exclusively. But if you're interested in that, let me know and I will try to get to, to make it happen. However, However, even though I have not made any exclusive content for coffee, Glenn has supported my channel twice already. He has donated some money to my channel and without me ever saying anything about my coffee page or how you can support me. And that means the world, not once but twice already. For someone who has been working towards this goal of actually like getting the channel to be a meaningful part of her life and like actually making money out of it because I, I want this to be my job eventually, being completely honest. This is really encouraging to see that people can Consider what I'm doing valuable enough to support me financially through my coffee page. So I want to take the opportunity to thank him publicly because it really means the world. It's really motivating and I really, really appreciate it. So if you made it far this far into the video and Glenn, if you're watching, thank you, thank you. Every time you've donated, it's meant the world to me and it's been super, super encouraging. I believe that the first time you did it was for New Year's Eve and that was the best way to start the year. Every time that you do, it's really encouraging and I thank you for from the bottom of my heart. So anywho, if you would like to see some exclusive content and coffee that would, I don't know, motivate you to subscribe to a monthly subscription for me, to see content from me, let me know what you would like to see there and I will try to make it happen. And if you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel because another one of these is coming your way. I went out to ask people questions more, so I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.